Hello. Right, what I'd like to show you today is the Tenergy FSI6 six, six channel uh, transmitter, which is running the Fly Plus beta software, which basically turns it from a six channel transmitter to an up to 10 channel transmitter. Uh, and what I wanted to show you very particularly today was um, this working using iBus to talk to a Flip32 um, running a developer version of Clean Flight, um, which will soon be available, um, one hopes. So I'll just run through the hardware setup briefly. So, as I said, uh, an FSI6 transmitter and the FSIA6B receiver and it's connected to a FLIP32 um, which has just been powered by a UBEC via a single wire connection using the iBus port and I'm not sure I can zoom in enough to show you this um, but using the iBus port of the uh, receiver. Now this receiver will support both PWM uh, on the discrete channels it will also support CPPM, but now um, with the new software it will also use iBus to talk to the uh, flight controller. And the reason I'm running a developer version of the uh, Clean Flight software, it is only um, the development version that's I think dated uh, 6th of February, no it can't be. Um, <coughs> it's just the developer version of the software that is running um, the iBus support which will be out in production soon. So, uh, now what I'm also trying to do, I'm trying to sort of demonstrate here um, the fail safe mode, but first thing I'll show you is the clean flight screen. So as you can see um, I've got roll, pitch, your and throttle channels all coming down the iBus wire. And I've also got uh, auxiliary channels. Um, you know, so I'll get this in the right order. There's aux one, and I've actually um, got this combined with two switches. So switches C and D. So I don't know if you can see these two together, but switch C is providing three levels of PWM in the first half of the uh, frame. So if you look at AUX1, you'll see it going from 1000 to 1200 to 1400 PWM. And if I bring down the switch D, and again, just keep an eye on that, switch D takes me up to 600, 1600 PWM, 1800 and 2000. So basically, I've got six channels of PWM, uh, or six values of PWM to play with on the AUX1. This might not be so much use for uh, clean flight use, but it does come into its own when using something like um, APM or Pixhawk. The remaining channels I've got set up, uh, this is channel six on AUX2, I've got that on a potentiometer. Um, switch B, I've got working uh, channel, I'm getting lost now, channel seven. Can I show you this, switch B? channel 7 and switch A working channel 8 and again this is only my own personal preference of channel assignments um, take too long to explain why I've done it this way but it's my sort of standardisation now the only other thing I wanted to show you was failsafe um, now particularly for APM um, you can use the throttle failsafe, um, which will take the throttle below 975 um, to trigger uh, failsafe on, on the APM and Pixhawk. Not so much for clean flight, um, but again, the clean flight's got its own way of doing failsafe. So, the way it's going to work is when I switch the transmitter off, the failsafe will, uh, the throttle channel will drop below its minimum value of 1000. And I'll show you that here. Hopefully you can see the two together. 
So there's the power switch. And just keep an eye on the throttle channel. And it's now dropped to 885. So transmitter on. Working normal. Trans uh, let's go up so, so so let's say we're flying at that sort of throttle. And transmitter off. And it drops to 885, which is below what the default 975 uh, PWM used on APM to trigger failsafe. So I'll turn it back on again. Okay, and that's easily set up on the on the fly sky, um, just by setting the um, minimum uh, endpoint for channel three to 120 percent, and then setting failsafe just using the menu system, and then set it back to 100 percent. So that's it. Fly sky i6, talking through a six-channel receiver using iBus to a clean flight flight controller giving us eight delicious channels to play with. Hope you find this useful.